Hi guys, uh, on this video we are looking at NASDAQ, NAS100 on the weekly time frame. So around this point we have the lowest point and then we have the highest high at this area here. And then switching to the daily time frame, as you can see we have that mass psychology activation around this point. And then we also had like some type of a double bottom around this point here or a double bottom. And then we had this nice D saving channel to the downside. If I can just plot it around this point. And then after having like that D saving channel, we also had this area of confluence. And then we also had this area around here. And then as you can see, as I remove each and everything at the bottom, we have an ascending channel trying to form up with two touches at the top and two touches at the bottom just like this so we have a clear ascending channel whereby we can look for those selling opportunities on the third touch whereby we get this type of movement which is the top of the structure and then as you can see around this point that's that my psychology activation and then we look for those selling opportunities from this point to here is because we target the overall 90 percent but we just like this so looking at the lower time frame which is just the four hour and the hour chart that is where we are going to find like a nice entry setup or uh, nice entries around this area here. So as you can see, this is the ascending channel that I was talking about on the daily time frame. And then we also have like this middle section around this point of which you can just cater for if you want to see each and everything play out while you are analyzing. So we have the push to the upside, the corrective move, which is this one here. And then we have the push to the upside. So this is a three-step move whereby we have this SR1, two, and then three. We have this SR1, two, and then we have three at the top of the structure. Then you have your one, two, and then you have your three pushing to the downside on the third touch. So currently what I'm thinking or my thought process would be having this three line around this point just to cater for that uh, override. And then let me just do this. And then we are at that override area and then pushing this trend line to the back and then focusing on this structure here. We also have an ascending channel within an ascending channel and then at a high point of value whereby it's that override that I'm talking about of features here. And then we can expect selling opportunities from this point to the 90%. And then if that does not work out, then we can just look forward to getting like that, that touch and then we sell off from there. So let's look at the hour time frame. So on the hour time frame, what you can do is just to refine this area here, just to make sure that you keep setting for the current market structure. What you can do is this here, whereby you keep up for this point, just like this in form of an expanding pattern. So we have the expanding at the top of the structure with two touches. And then what we can expect is the, the touch on it whereby we get like some corrective moves up until we reach the third touch then you have your one two and then this is the third touch for us to sell off from this point here to the lows and then your first target initially can be like the overall 90 percent within this small ascending channel around here so this is the way you can just take the entry for example at the top of the structure you can take a shot here stop can be just below the top of the structure here and then you target this area for about six percent the third touch on the outer structures is at about 11 and then the overall 90 percent is at around 22 percent so this type of movement if it does not work out then what you can do is that remove this ray line here remove this ray line you put it here and then what can happen is that you can create a double top override within this point here whereby we get a slow movement up until this point and then we sell off from there and then if this type of movement does not work out also what you can look forward to see if this movement here this one that i'm talking about here your stop can be above here target here first touch target here also for the third touch on the outer structures and then the overall 90 percent 12 percent and then if this movement does not work out, what you can look forward to seeing is for the market to reach like the outer structures, the third touch 
of which it will be in line with the overall high of which is on the daily chart going back to the daily this is the high point that i'm talking about around this area here then the third touch would be in this type of fashion whereby we get a slow movement sorry about that whereby we get a slow movement pushing to the upside just like this creating an ascending channel at the top of the structure just like this and then we can just bring the strength line out and then we reach the third touch area in form of an ascending channel then we can look for a candlestick reversal pattern and then we look for selling opportunities right at the top of the structure just like this and then we'll take the sell at the top of the structure just like this and then we're targeting the overall 90 percent all the time the third touch and the 90% for about 22%. So moving back to the hour time frame, let me just remove a few of these lines so that we can just make a clear forecast. So on the hour time frame, what you can forecast is the type of movement here, whereby we get like a slow movement happening just like this. And then after reaching the third touch area of which it will be in line with that uh, high area whereby we expect that much psychology activation push to the upside and come back and then around this point that is when we look for that six to eight hour type flag confirming that we are pushing to the downside and then on the last candle or after the sixth candle has been closed then you can just place your cell stop just below this tight flag here just like this and this is the entry and then you're targeting let me just draw out this point here just like this and the ascending channel and then the break of that ascending channel we you get your first tight flag then after getting that that is when you take the sell first target is here for about 4.25 percent overall target is there around 12 percent and that is how I'm looking at NASDAQ from the higher time frame to the lowest time frame. Hope you took some value from this video and then I'll see you all. I'll see you on another one.